My name is Jen Moore, Professional Development Specialist for the Southwest Region. In this video, we will discuss how to create formative assessments using learning scales. Leading up to creating formative assessments with learning scales, first we must have unwrapped the prioritized standard using a KUD and from there constructing a learning scale which identifies the pieces of information and skills that students need to achieve in order to master or exceed the standard. The next step is to create assessments which measure performance that aligns with each level of the scale. When creating assessments, keep in mind the various types of assessments, formats, and approaches to assess student learning. The purpose of using assessments aligned with learning scales is that it assists in measuring the level of student achievement, clarifies the curriculum and instruction, and enhances communication between teachers and students on the learning. Here we have a sixth grade science example of a learning scale. As we create ways to assess, we will begin with level three. The learning target for level three requires students to compare and contrast the major organelles and functions in plant and animal cells. There are many strategies that can be used to formatively assess students such as matching, multiple choice, graphic organizers, exit tickets, or summaries. For this level, I chose an assessment that will require students to create an analogy for each organelle by comparing the cell to our school. After creating an analogy, students will then identify our school as either a plant or animal cell and explain why. To determine proficiency, the criteria of success is creating an appropriate analogy with 80% accuracy. Having a predetermined criteria of success assists the teacher in analyzing the student outcomes to make informed instructional decisions. Next, I examine the knowledge in level two of the scale. To quickly assess understanding of the cell parts and their function, students could match the cell parts with their function and describe where they would find an animal cell and a plant cell. Again, I would set criteria for, for students to be considered proficient. Within this scale, level one states students will interact with the content with help, which the teacher can informally monitor. Level four of the scale contains a target that is naturally a formative assessment. For this target, I would create a rubric for students to establish criteria of success and ensure quality responses. Please note that there are many types of assessments that can be created with learning scales. This example serves to illustrate the process. Making connections to our PLC way of work, learning scales are a good tool to use when creating common formative assessments to guide inquiry discussions and planning around student data. For additional resources regarding creating formative assessments using learning scales, please reference the Elementary Learning Network Canvas site, the Secondary Learning Network Canvas site, and the Insightful Educator Series link located on the Marzano Instructional Framework Canvas site.